Hi everyone, it's Chef P. So here we are, step three of the prosciutto process. It's been, well, I talked about two weeks, but I actually left it out for three weeks. So we salted it, as you remember, we put some weight on top of it, and uh, we've, I, I've taken out, and I'm just gonna pull it up there so you can see. So you see there's some juices there. Basically what we've done is brined this, uh, this ham. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of this liquid, I'm going to rinse it off with water, okay? So we're gonna wash off some of that salt that's on the outside now. And we're jumping into our next, uh, our next phase, which is the drying process. So we're gonna be drying these, or, or this for about 10 months. And uh, after that 10 months, we'll be ready to cut that and enjoy it. Um, but yes, the process today, we're going to wash this, uh, rinse off all the stuff. Then we're gonna actually wash it in wine, red wine. So this is homemade red wine. And uh, then after that, we're going to coat it with some um, ground pepper and, and uh, chilies. So I've, uh, I've sort of ground this all up in my uh, coffee grinder and gotten that all ready. And we're, we're sort of going to put that on the outside. And, and the process and the, the reason we do that is we're just trying to keep any little pests that might have any ideas about coming to, you know, sort of get onto our, our meat and, and do anything. Um, and, and that just sort of assists with that. Could you just hang this with no pepper or anything like that? Absolutely, you could totally do that. But this is not. This is going to be just that little extra protection. And I also like what the hot peppers do too. It doesn't flavor the whole meat, but when you get some of those side pieces, you get a little bit of extra flavoring and it's wonderful. Um, the red wine will help um, promote any good molds from growing and inhibit sort of uh, the bad molds um, from, from growing on there. So I'm just going to pause. I'm just going to pour out this here. I'm actually going to rinse out my container. I'm going to rinse um, the whole leg, and then we'll take you through the uh, the wine washing process, and then we'll uh, we'll cover it with some uh, ground pepper. All right. All right. So I've rinsed off my container. I've just gotten that ready, and I'm actually going to use that um, when I do the red wine. That way, if any of it falls off, I can just kind of get there rather than splashing it all over the kitchen. Okay, so I've got uh, my leg here. I haven't done anything to it yet, um, but we're going to rinse that off. And if you'll recall, um, we made an incision up in the top here so that we can hang it. So you will need some rope of some kind to sort of hang that up there. And we're gonna run that through, make a loop. And I've got, um, in my drying area, I've got sort of a hook. So I'm just gonna hang that on top of that and just let that dry over the next uh, 10 months. So. I'm just going to use some cold water and then I brought out some paper towels too just to sort of uh, take up some of that extra water once I rinse off some of the salt and um, then after that we'll take you through the process so we'll watch that. So I'm going with cold water here and just going to, I don't know if I can get you a little bit lower here, there we go and I'm just going to use this nice cold water and I'm just going to rinse the whole thing off. Flip it over. Same thing. And you'll see there's probably not too much. Most of it has been a brine up to this point. Um, so that's good. And then what we'll do is get the top part here too. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. All right. So I'm not... This here, this incision here, um, I may actually just pack it with a little bit more salt when I put the rope through, just, just to absolutely make sure that I'm not introducing anything that's not gonna be able to fight itself off. Um, but I will get some paper towel and start to pat dry this off. So let me just change your view a little bit here, maybe. And pat that dry like that. Just get some of that extra ex excess liquid off and then same thing, other side. Just, just trying to get the water off anyway. And that's it. And you'll see that little pocket that we talked about at the bottom before. Um, you should probably still see lots of salt in that area um, when you rinse it off. And uh, that's good because you want all those crevices to be well taken care of. So I'll do that. Beautiful. And then what I'll do is I'll grab my container. I'm going to put that back in this way and it's just easier to work with I find if you've got it back in here. Put that in here. Like that. Hopefully you see that quite nicely. And now I'm just going to wash it in red wine. So 
So I'm just gonna rinse my hands first here. And I'm just gonna use that red wine. And again, this is an optional step. You don't have to do this. Um, I like it. And there we go. And I'm just gonna try to get it everywhere. So I've got about, eh, probably half a bottle in here now. And I'm just gonna get it all nice and coated beautifully. So that's that. And then what I wanna do is just make sure that I really get it well coated everywhere. Just take some of that red wine, just put it on top like that. And then I'm going to, and I'm going to start putting some of that um, ground pepper and and uh, chili mixture on top of it. I'm just going to sort of stick it on there. Okay, so sort of create a crust almost. All right, so here it is. So here's the mixture that I made. And um, you can kind of see, hopefully you can see, it's on this side, there we go. So it's ground pepper and some chilies. And I'm just trying to get a nice little coating and I'm gonna concentrate mainly on this one side. Um, although you can put some on the other side as well, but um, I'm gonna concentrate on that one side where we made the incision uh, and took some of that stuff off and I'm gonna rub that in there. Nice and, that's it. Now obviously <laughs> don't touch your eyes after you finish doing this. But... That's it. Just gonna sort of put that in there like that. Now pat that in there. Beautiful. Do the same over here. Like that. And again, this just inhibits a lot of pests. We do this. Um, you know, if you're if, if you're a hunter of any kind, um, sometimes you'll do that with uh, if the weather's a little warm. Um, we'll cover our meat in pepper sometimes, or even just spray it with some uh, some vinegar. And you're kind of doing both here a little bit. I'm gonna throw a little bit in the top, uh, to the top of the leg here as well. There we go. And then I just want to get the bottom. That's it. And I'll put it over here like that. I like to get a little bit on this side too. But really I want to get that bottom part too. So just gonna rub that on. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna move this off to the side and get the end. Okay, so I still got some on this end that I gotta get. Do that. There we go. Quite nice, like that. That's it. Just making a nice little, just patting it through. Very nice, like that. Okay. Yeah, that's looking really nice. And you can actually start to feel it. Uh, I don't know if you remember how thick it was before, but see how thin it is now. <laughs> and so that's what we want. We want that nice flat uh, surface that we can uh, work with there. So that's really good. I think we're in pretty good shape here. So I'm just gonna string it through. So I'll bring the video up a little bit so you can see that. And I'm just gonna rinse my hands. All right, so I maybe It'd be interesting just to see what the weight is, but obviously the weight has dropped a little bit. I've got my string here, okay? So I've just sort of doubled up um, butcher's twine, but I've put many layers there. So I think it was about uh, eight to 10 strands in there. So I'm gonna be running that through. You wanna make sure it's just strong enough to be able to hold the whole thing. And uh, like I said before, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more salt in that, in that little crevice there, just in case I'm introducing something I shouldn't be. So I'll just put a little bit here and then I'll work it through as I put the string in there. All right, so hopefully you can see that. And we're just gonna work that through. 
And that, that was why it was so important to make that incision properly and <laughs> thick enough to get all the way through so that we can feed it. And just because even right now I'm having a little bit of trouble doing that. So maybe I'll try one in from there. Oh, well, maybe I was almost there. There it is. Pull that through. There we go. That's beautiful. Okay, so there we go. We've got that all in there now. I'm just going to tie that up and then I'll be able to um, hang that. And that's that's what we're going to want to do there is hang that for the 10 months and it uh, should be good. So as you're hanging it, obviously this time of year, you're not going to have too, too much trouble uh, right now. But if you start to, um, if, if ever you get to a point where it's starting to smell sour or something like that, uh, then obviously something has gone wrong and you probably don't want to take chance with it and just sort of uh, maybe ditch it and get rid of it. But um, uh, most of the time there's no issue there. So you're going to want to um, just keep an eye on that. And again, you're, you're, you're looking for, um, it's going to smell like curing meat, but it's never going to smell sour. So if it starts to smell sour, you know you've got a problem and you're going to have to rethink um, things before you go on. If as you're going through, uh, you deal with some molds and you're not liking the molds, um, then you can make some changes there too. And, and the way to do that is just to get a little bit of uh, just vinegar, white vinegar, and put it on a little bit of towel and then just rub off anything that you think you don't want to see. Now, most of the time, white, white molds are okay. It's when you start getting into some weird greens and blues and black is definitely not good at all. Um, but if you're quick enough, you can usually get that off and, and clean it up and be okay and just keep an eye on things and you're going to be okay um, doing that. So that's it. So now I can see that that takes the weight. So I'm going to hang that and uh, maybe we'll have a video in 10 months when we slice it. Anyway, thanks for being with me and we'll talk again soon. Ciao. Good luck.